Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we're trying to see some very nice and simple tricks on how to hide your Streamlit menu in case you design an app and you don't want people to access the default menu that comes with Streamlit and also how to do customization. So you can, if you see from this particular part of the app, that the menu is off, right? The menu is there. And then we have seen this particular customization in this but we're trying to see how to do that in this wonderful tutorial. So before we move on, there is some news. There is a very nice book created by or written by Tyler Richards, one of the contributors to Streamlit, and it's about getting started with Streamlit for data science. It's a very nice book, so you can also check it out. So I'll pro provide a link in the comment section below so that I can also check it out. And you can see this nice hoodie here, very nice. I don't know how they call it. I got it from Streamlit. It's about it's Streamlit Hackathon. Very nice. And some very nice kit. Let me show you. Okay, some stickers, some pens, some books. Very, very nice kit from Streamlit. So we're trying to see how to modify and then do some customization for that, right? Thank you, Streamlit, for this wonderful stuff. I think I look good in it, yeah? <laughs> okay, let me no comment. So let's go back and see what we're doing. We want to be able to see how to hide the menu, right? So it's, from here, we have seen that you have hidden the menu and you have made some customization so how do you do that for your app so go back to our workspace i'll come back again so i'll come back again to my workspace so this way this app that you have uploaded is it so if i have taken it off so that you can see that the menu is here so if i click on this you can see this real one click on deploy app request so in case you design a, an app that you don't want the users you don't want your users to be able to do all of these things right you just want to keep it from them then you can just apply this option. You can see that here is also made with Streamlit, but I think it's good to keep this one at least to market Streamlit product. So let's see how to hide this one, right? And how to customize this. So I'll just go back again. Let me position it beside it. So to be able to hide this particular one, if I go back again, so let me open it up. And this is it, right? So if I right click on this, I go to inspect. If I go to the inspect, you can see that people see the actual code behind the actual HTML CSS code behind it, right? So the same place, you can see that there's a button here, right? Inside this button, there's something called, so this main menu is the stuff highlighted here. If I click on this, you can see that it has been highlighted there. So you can see that if I click on this one here, right? Let's click on this and I select it. That particular option is the button has been highlighted. If I select this one, you can see from here, let me bring this one down. See the button has been highlighted, right? If I click on this one, so the button has been highlighted. If I click on this, so the menu has been selected, right? Very nice. So that is the basic understanding. So this menu, where is it back? This menu here. Let's click on this. This menu here, right? Is the one that has been selected. So in case you want to hide it, that is the particular ID we are going to be checking on. So how do I do that? So let's go back and see how to do that. So you just have to hide this particular one in order to hide it. Right? So I'll go back again to the app itself that we're building. Then I'm going to go back outside the app. I'm going to create a simple code or variable to so hide menu. I'm going to call it as, I'm going to put in my CSS style there, right? So this is very simple. Then this is CSS, so it's going to be my style. And then style, right? Perfect. So in case I want to hide this one, right? I'm just going to call this one. It's already an ID, span of ID. So that means it's going to be hashtag, then main, menu right the same thing here as you are seeing from here pivot and then i'm just going to tell that okay the visibility by default visibility we set that's what hidden if i go with this option let's close it save it and i'm going to hide that one out so it's going to be st dot markdown i'm going to tell that okay hide menu on save allow etml Set that one to true, right? So I save it now, it's going to hide it. So let's back to the app itself. Close it, so you can't even see it anymore, it's gone. If I close this one out, the menu is gone. All right, the menu bar is gone. So my video is closed, so let me close it. So the menu is gone, as you can see, right? So that is how to hide the menu, right? Very simple. So the first step is that you just go with the ID, right? Me menu visibility hide menu so what about trying to hide this one 
not hide but customize it because i don't see the point of custom of hiding midway streamlet so to do that just the same thing i'll just click on this go with inspect if i go with inspect you're going to see the actual code behind the scene all right so so in the same thing if i click on it see that we have the footer here right so if i go with the footer you can see that that one has been selected down here right if i click on this here so the footer has been selected so that is what we want to hide right made with with the stream right there so in case you want to modify it the same thing you're going to be doing to so be picking this particular attribute right or element so i just go back again to our workspace then i'm just going to go back again to this place and then pick the footer right so i go with the footer then i can just do the same thing we did or oh, let's make it like this and i'm going to see the same thing visibility it's going to hidden right if i hide it now if i save it and i go back again see that the footer is going to go the footer for that particular one is going to go i hope i spelled it well visibility yeah okay now let's check it out see that now it's gone completely right the visibility is gone you can't see it it's gone but to me i feel it's better you at least you broadcast that you are using streamlet to build this one so let's not just hide it so that is how to hide it right you have seen how to hide it just gone but i prefer not to hide it i prefer to actually let people know that it was built to streamlet so i'll just go back again and i'm going to add another one to it so i'm not going to hide it let's keep it you can also make it visible visible right and it's going to stay visible that's the deal so it's coming back this is my to streamlet so let's customize it and let's say copyright with streamlet so it's going to be this option i come down here and position by side beside it then i'm going to add that one to it so this is going to be say footer another footer then i'm going to specify that okay this footer is going to be after or this whatever i'm going to put there is going to be after the footer right or before the footer anyhow it is going to be still part of the footer then i want to place in some content right so the content i want to place in so content so the content I want to place in is let's call it let's say copyright. Let's put the copyright sign. I've forgotten the sign, but I think this is okay. <laughs> 2021 by streamlet, right? Let's say streamlet, something like that. Dot io, something like that. Oh, streamlet, something like that. Very nice. So that is how to put the content there. So I'm going to specify that I want to display it. So display as a block. All of these things, and then let's specify the position. Let's just, let's make it relative, and then the last one like we can just specify a color. So let's give a color using Streamlit official color tomato, right? Then let's save it. So if I save it now, and I come down here. Yeah, see now it has come here, as you can see from here, right? Copyright at twenty twenty one. Very nice. If I open it, you can see that it is working perfectly well, right? Very cool. You can actually add some padding to it in case you want. So you can add it. Let's say a padding. Padding of let's say five or ten. 10 pesos then can you see specify that position to be let's say three pesos right so something like that so it's still not going to modify anything but that is how it is right very cool so that is how to hide your menu right and how to also modify or add something to the foot footer in streamlit very simple very nice so that is something very nice so streamlit gives you a lot of things behind the scene if you know the code behind so number one in case you want to hide the menu we already saw that the hide menu here is just option so you first write your code your style is inside this particular option then you come down to st.markdown the hide menu then on save allow html and then we only as we already explored the main menu here so the main menu we saw that it is here if i go back and i right click it let's take it off so that you see what i meant again let's take this one off the menu back is back right the menu is back so we, we saw that it is here just right click inspect inspecting it you can see that the menu is there right so this is what we were hiding so thank you for watching this tutorial so in case you have any question or contribution you can just put it in the comment section below and then see you in the next session and don't forget to check out a uh, textbook on getting started with streamlit and then this is so nice one streamlit see you another time stay blessed bye